I can't say anything about season four because uh, they'll sue me. Uh, they might kill me. I mean, I will say it's very juicy. I mean, it's got some really startling, cool things in it. You know, it's like a bumpy ride. At the start of season four, uh, my character, Jerry Kelman, is uh, on, not on terra firma. She's um, on the outs with both Logan and Roman, and yet she's still the canny, capable one in the business that is always somehow needed. So it's an interesting time for Jerry because she's always been, she's always been like in like Flynn, like she's always like landing on her feet. I keep using these platitudes, but it's true. Like she's like, you know, she's always protective of her own status. And um, so at the beginning of season four, it's a new floating sort of uncertainty limbo that she's in. You cannot win. Your dad will wash you away. This is a chessboard. Are you tanking the deal? And every move is crucial. If I had a favorite episode, my mind goes back to Turnhaven, which I think is season two, at the beginning of the shenanigans between Roman and Jerry, and it's when we go to Cherry Jones' house, Nan Pierce, and it's a very dramatic and awful and cringy dinner that happens, and then Karen and I have our tricky scene where I make them go to the bathroom. Um, and that was just, I think personally for me, that scene was so complicated, uh, m maybe more than what meets the eye because it's all dawning on Jerry and she's trying to think how to, how to use it to her advantage and how to handle it and how to not make a scandal, but to kind of, and she's just, you know, you can just see every line her, her uh, intention has changed. And it's very um, tricky. It was a very tricky scene. It was the last scene we shot of the episode. We were shooting in this beautiful part of the North Fork of Long Island, beautiful home. We all get along so great. It was just a very, I have nostalgia for that time of like all the times we've traveled. It was freezing cold. We, we just got to rehearse it for camera at about 2 a.m. So it had, we have, we're kind of running on um, fumes. I think it turned out well though. All right, drink up because you know, it's bedtime. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Unless you want to schedule one of our special conference calls for, say, right now. Excuse me? Hi. Wait, is that why you're here? I would like to say to Jesse Armstrong, please consider a spinoff called Jerry with an exclamation mark. <laughs> and it would all be, you know, be like the Mary Tyler Moore show, but about Jerry. No, um, maybe it could be like a Better Call Jerry kind of show where it's all about the fixer and different cases. I don't know. I'm, I'm really kidding. I, th I don't think there should be a show about Jerry per se, but I do think that there could be some kind of a sequel to the show with or without Jerry. I do, I think that, that's what I was saying before, I think there's a lot of material. When we realized that season four was indeed the last season, which was kind of gradual for us, I mean, we all suspected it and it was hinted at, but it wasn't really ever owned up to straight. It was quite sad and, and I think that it's really probably good. Like, I feel like Jesse really knows his show and really in terms of the main theme and the main characters and the main storyline, probably proper and true that this is the final season. But for all those myriad characters and all the other themes in the show, which are very rich and juicy, like the political things that happen and the business things that happen and the corruption and the wit involved and all these other characters, I feel like the show could go on for, for years because there's a, just a lot, a lot of fun material. So for us actors on the sidelines, we feel like, oh, okay, well, bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>